So I look at disaster, which is not a good image to send. That's not what I wanted to do. I know that the <laughs> I know that I've had people tell me that if I pursue my life the way that I'm going, I am going to fall apart and die and end up with AIDS and shit. So <laughs> I'll just embrace it. It's fine. I'm a destroyed person, but I'm also good. Like, I'm also happy, as weird as that seems. <sighs> I don't know what to come out as. <laughs> I am genderqueer and interest, just terrible pansexual. Really, really awful pansexual, mostly guys. But also, I don't care. I don't care. Non-binary girls, I don't care. Uh, I don't mind. I don't want to be flattened out to just a gay man, because it's not exactly what I am. It's like gay man plus dysphoria. So <laughs> here I am crying at whatever time this is because I want to tear off all my skin. I can't take it. And I'm gonna be fine. I know that I'm gonna be fine. I know that I'm gonna be okay. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I should have come out to other people in a more personal way, but, and I should have also done this in Spanish because most of the people that I am making this for speak Spanish. And I, I'm not helping my case. I'm not falling apart because I'm queer. I'm not falling apart because I don't believe in God. I am falling apart because I love the people that I knew from the first 20 years of my life. And I know that this is going to devastate them so much. But I can't take it anymore. <laughs> At some point, I've got to not keep being like, hey, no, 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 don't take pictures of me at this rally because, like, I, like, I'm not completely out to everybody. I, like, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that to me. I can't do that to other people. I can't live like this. I need to be an advocate. I need to be somebody. And not being a student anymore has shown me that I have no identity. I am I'm nothing. But I also can be whatever I want at this point. I, within limits, like, at this point I'm not going to be an engineer, which is fine, because I fucking suck at math and science. I'm ready to be done. Or I'm ready to begin, I guess. I'm ready to look forward to being alive in five years. <laughs> I promise I'll be more, more put together later. I promise that I'll learn and I'll look more presentable and not be a wet, completely destroyed mess. I looked better even this morning. I can guarantee it. I just had a moment and needed to get over it. I will be fine. What I'm saying with this video is that my parents aren't responsible for me. You can't come after them. You can't blame them for how I came. They gave me the most wonderful childhood. They tried to make me as Christian as they possibly could. I'm just not convinced. I'm not convinced at all. Not in the least bit. None of it makes sense. The very fundamentals of it make no sense. And I have found stuff that makes a billion times more sense and makes my life just kind of fall 
into place and makes me happier and makes me not hate myself and not hate the people around me. I'm doing this all wrong. I'm doing everything all wrong, but I don't care. I kind of need it to be done all wrong. I need a bit of freedom. I, I like, it's been the most liberating thing in the world to realize that no matter what I do, I'm not gonna please my parents. And I can't think about that at the ripe old age of 23 or whatever I am. I don't care. I do care, but I don't care enough to destroy the rest of my life. And I know that they think that I'm going to end up a drugged out dead mess. <laughs> And if I do, then I'll just prove them right. And that's great. And they'll be happier. <laughs> no, they're not, no, they won't. Um, and if I don't, they're still going to be disappointed in me. Like, I've done enough that I have made so many people that love me completely disappointed in who I am. And it's the most liberating feeling in the world. I get to do whatever I want now. I've already disappointed everybody. So... I just get to be a disappointment now. And this is wonderful. It's so good. I would recommend it to anybody. <laughs> uh, as much as I look like I'm a depressive falling apart mess, because I am, I can begin again. I, I can be free. I'm tired. But I'm excited. I've got so much that I want to do. I've got so much that I want to do. Do you really? <laughs> I know that you don't live in my head, but I know that everybody who's watching this is human too and realizes that it's like I've got a future. Like I can. I can be alive. I cannot hate myself. I can love people and do good <laughs> or do bad. It's fine. It's really okay. I'm going to die anyway. But I don't want to die. And that's a new feeling for me. I don't want to die. So <laughs> I'll be a better mess tomorrow. I'll feel happier tomorrow. I know that I get into these like three, four day spurts of falling apart. And I know that I'm going to have no money and <laughs> no backup plan for anything. But I've got a degree now. We'll see how much that counts. I'm gonna make it. I don't know how. I'm gonna make it.